Hey everyone! Well, what do you do at the end of October when it feels like a summer day? You take down your sails and uh, do a little maintenance on them. Some of you might remember Marty and May. They built a Jenniker sail uh, from Sailrite last winter and they also have a Sailrite sewing machine. And I was speaking to them the other day and they mentioned about checking over some of our sails for maintenance and uh, doing some sewing repairs if needed. Today's focus was on head sails and they seem to take the most abuse especially if they're on a roller furling system that means they roll up onto the forestay of the boat so they're out and ready to deploy or put away uh, much easier than if you had to hank the sail on and hoist it each time. When you have a head sail that's on a roller furling system you have to have a sacrificial piece of material that's on the outside of the sail once it's rolled up. And this takes the most abuse from the UV rays and other elements while it's rolled up. Periodically those pieces of material have to be replaced, but in the meantime, before they are worn through, you can still replace things like stitching uh, to extend the life of that sacrificial material. Some boats, like you'll notice on the first sail that we worked on and on Marty and May's, the piece of material that's sacrificial is a different color and a lot of times people do that to have it match the sail cover for your mainsail. For my boat I decided to just have that piece of material white and that's why when my head sails rolled up you just see the white material and it looks like it's uh, just the regular part of the sail but it isn't, it's the sacrificial strip. Doing this repair is not super difficult or complex it's basically just going over visually uh, looking for areas that the stitching has seemed to have broken down and uh, making note of that then putting it through the machine. In some cases where the stitching has come right apart and the two pieces of material are uh, apart from each other there's a two-sided tape that uh, May puts down and what that does is it holds the uh, two pieces of material in place so when she runs it through the machine it doesn't move and it's a very very sticky tape and uh, that makes it a much easier process once it starts going through the machine. As you can imagine these sails are pretty large so it takes three people uh, comfortably to do this. It would be a little more difficult with two and I'm not sure if you could do it very well with just one. Uh, this, there's just so much material that has to be pushed along and pulled through and you'll see that in these clips that basically Marty's pulling the material through, I'm picking up what's behind the machine and helping it move forward and we're just making it as easy as we can for me so all she's focused on is uh, making sure that the material that needs to go through the sewing machine there's not any pulling or pushing on it and uh, no tension so three people works really well we found a, a, uh, a container that was a good height for me and that's what we did today At the end of it all we uh, packed up a couple of the sails. We folded mine up and uh, we're going to put it away for a bit. 
Marty and me uh, wanted to put theirs back on the boat, so uh, we hoisted it back up. But I'd say to do this about once a year is really important. Um, normally, uh, when I was in Vancouver, I just took it down to the sail shop, dropped it off, and uh, picked it up a week later. I just let them do it. But uh, here I don't have that luxury or option anymore, so you do what you can. And uh, since we have a, a sail right sewing machine right here on the dock, and my neighbors are nice enough to uh, let me be part of their maintenance day, we were able to uh, get that done here. So that's it. Probably not super exciting, but just wanted to show you guys uh, one of the things that I do and what other people do uh, for annual maintenance to uh, extend the life of their sails. Before I go, I just wanted to say I hope that everyone enjoyed the little uh, quick road trip I did a little while back with Devlin. And if you guys would like to see uh, more of those types of uh, films, then let me know because uh, I do plan on doing those through the winter months as well. And if you guys are interested, I'll bring the camera along and uh, see what I can come up with to show you guys.